Welcome to WatchGuard's Daily Security Byte. I'm Corey Nockreiner. Today I talk about the new drone attack. Today's story has less to do with practical security advice and more about an interesting new attack that could affect us in the future. It's also something that affects a few of my hobbies, both drones or multi-copters and 3D printing. Researchers at a place called Ben Gurion University, I believe in Israel, released a new paper talking about the drone attack. And this attack is where they first were able to infiltrate a computer using standard run-of-the-mill methods like phishing emails and malware. But once they did, they found the files on the computer that were used for 3D printing. To demonstrate this particular attack, what they found was a 3D printer file for a drone propeller. Once they got access to that propeller 3D printing file, they then modified the CAD document so that this propeller was now weakened, even though once it printed, it looked visibly okay. And basically, to demonstrate the attack, they have a great video where after doing the attack, they fly a drone for a while. Eventually, the weakened propeller breaks and the drone falls to the ground. As far as the attack itself, there's nothing new here. This really had to do with a typical email malware type attack. Many of the same things you do to prevent this, such as having email security things that might filter certain types of attachment, or having antivirus and advanced threat protection to block malware, are good basic tips for preventing that sort of email attack. Attack. But what I find quite interesting is the potential future type of cyber attack that goes after 3D printing CAD files. 3D printing is blowing up and thinking of novel new methods where attackers might be able to modify files that we sell or share online to have some sort of physical ramification, like in this case a drone falling to the ground, is a pretty interesting concept. I suspect 3D printing is going to take off, so most people having these types of files are at least accessing ones that are publicly available online will be a new thing. Anyways, I just thought it was fascinating future-looking research showing how digital attacks can have uh, physical ramifications when we move in this future 3D printing world. Anyways, I highly recommend you at least check out their video or download the white paper if you're interested. That's it for today's story. Thank you for watching.